Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the News on Map series. I am Pooja and let us begin with the practice question of the last segment. For those who are new to this channel, how we complete our maps and how we complete the news that has been for the past couple of days in the buzz, it is through MCQs and of course the visualization is done through maps. So let us begin with the first question that is the practice question. The apps do not pass through which of the following countries? Now this question which I formulated was at the backdrop of the uh, G7 meet that was conducted in Bavarian Alps. So from that perspective I have asked this question, I had asked this question and the options that were given are Romania, Slovenia, Albania, Bosnia and Herzegovina. So let's have a look at the map of Alps and this is the entire region, the brown ones that you can see it is the region of the Alps. This belt is basically uh, orogenic in nature and of course it is a part of the Alpide Himalayan orogenic belt that starts from northwest of Africa, the Atlas Mountains, goes through the Alps, also has Anatolia in the chain, then moves towards the Karakaram Hindu Kush and the westernmost region that is of course the Himalayan chain. So uh, sorry, the easternmost, westernmost would be Atlas. So this region is very technologically active. And you see that it goes through countries such as France, of course, then we have Switzerland, we also have Italy. Apart from that, the areas which are not shown in the map, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, Austria, Serbia, Albania, also Switzerland is also there. Switzerland is also a part of that and Switzerland and Australia, only these two countries are actually uh, you know, Alps, uh, these are considered as Alpine countries. Okay, apart from that, we also have Croatia, we also have, of course, Austria and Slovenia. Okay, so 11 countries are there, but Romania is not a part of it. And if I have missed any country, you can tell me in the comments. I mean, Romania is not a part of the Alps. Okay, let's move on. The correct answer would be A. Moving on. Leaders of the economic community of West African states have lifted economic and financial sanctions imposed on Mali after its military rulers proposed a 24-month transition to democracy and published a new electoral law. Let us, with the help of this map, see which are the 15 ECOWAS countries. It includes, of course, Mali, Niger, Nigeria, Burkina Faso, Togo, Benin, Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, Guinea, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Guinea-Bissau, Gambia. This is the small country of Gambia, which is surrounded by Senegal on all. Uh, sites. So Senegal, apart from of course the ocean region and Cape Verde. So these are the different countries of ECOWAS. You can also, uh, you know, take a screenshot of this. I'm removing myself from here. Moving on, if we talk about the question, the question pertains to it is a landlocked country of Western Africa, okay, mostly in the Saharan and Sahelian region. The fabled but now faded trading and learning center of Timbuktu is situated in this country and the Niger River passes through the middle of the country, interior of the country and it is the main trading and transport artery, uh, artery in the country. So we have to select which country we are referring to here. Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, Nigeria, not Niger and of course Algeria. So we are actually talking about Mali. It is a landlocked country filled with Saharan and Sahelian region. And Bamako is the capital of Mali. Also, the very uh, fabled Timbuktu region is situated in Mali. It has not faded away. And you see that Niger River is passing through the, almost through the middle of Mali. Now, this makes the answer very clear. That the correct, uh, correct answer would be Mali. It is surrounded by how many countries you can see? Algeria, Niger, Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire. Then we have Guinea, we have Senegal and Mauritania, okay? So the correct answer would be, of course, Mali, okay? Moving on to the next set of questions. The next set of questions are with respect to a large chunk of Alpine glacier that collapsed and slid down mountainside in Northern Italy. As I told you, it's basically orogenic in nature, uh, the entire Alpine Himalayan belt. So that makes the region very tectonically active and that killed certain hikers okay so we have to consider the pairs we have to pair the mountain peak and what is the parent range of these mountain peaks Matterhorn, 
that is in Pennine Alps, then Trigla, Julian Alps, and then of course Mont Blanc, Grain Alps. So this is the pattern of the question paper that we saw in the UPSC prelims 2022. So we have to see which pairs are correctly matched, how many pairs basically. Only one pair is correctly matched, two pairs, all the three, uh, three pairs are correctly matched or all the three pairs are incorrectly matched, okay? So let us see first Matterhorn, which is actually in Switzerland, okay? And Matterhorn is actually at the border of Switzerland and you see Italy, okay? And it is a part of the Pennine Alps, that is definitely correct. So one pair at least is going to be correct. Then we have Tree Glove. Tree Glove is over here. Tree Glove Peak is present in Slovenia, okay? And it is a part of the Julian Alps, okay? It's not Julian, it's Julian Alps, okay? So that is also correct. Two are correct. Matterhorn and Tree Glove. Then we have Mont Blanc Peak. Mont Blanc Peak is actually a part of uh, Italy, France border, Mont Blanc over here and it is of course a part of the Grain Alps. So all three pairs are actually correctly matched, okay? The correct answer would be option C. Let's move on and talk about our next question, which is with respect to Scotland's first minister who has written to the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, seeking formal consent for the vote and said now, Boris Johnson has of course, you know, uh, stepped down at, as the party leader. Soon he will be replaced with a successor of as the Prime Minister. So this is, an, uh, you know, an erstwhile news. Now she aims to press on with her plan if this is not granted referendum. So we have to match the aspiring breakaway states to the country with which they belong. First we have Flanders, that belongs to Germany. Does that belong to Germany? Then we have Bavaria, France, South Tyrol, Italy. So we have to see which uh, of the pairs are not correctly matched. Not is over here, not correctly matched. Now Flanders is actually a part of Belgium, okay? And this region of Flanders, Flanders region is an orange. And then we have Walloon region and Brussels capital region. So this entire region is Flanders region. And this is an aspiring breakaway state, wants to have its own independence of Belgium. So first was not correctly matched because it, because it was saying Germany, then Bavaria. Bavaria is actually a part of Germany, this region. The Bavarian Alps are over here. So Germany and Bavaria are to be correct, but here it is written France, which is not correct. Then we have South Tyrol. Yes, South Tyrol is a part of Italy, okay, basically in Northern Italy. So only third is correct. First and second are not correct. The correct answer would be option B because we had to see which ones are not correctly matched. All right, only third is correctly matched. Moving on to the next set of questions. Now it is with respect to a Palestinian teenager who died on Sunday after being shot by the Israeli forces in the occupied West Bank a day earlier, Palestinian medical sources said. Okay, so we have to see the statements with respect to this news only. First is Israel borders Jordan, Lebanon, Syria and the Palestinian territories of West Bank and the Gaza Strip only. Okay, first that. Secondly, Jordan River is the main source of Lake Tiberias. So we have to see which one is correct or both are correct or not. Now this is the map that shows us Israel, the region of Israel, which is bordered by Lebanon in the north, also Syria, then Jordan in the uh, east, then also Egypt. Okay, so first that. Then here is the region of Palestine and Palestine region, this West Bank region is a region of Palestine and the Gaza Strip, this is also correct. So you see that it had all the countries into place except for Egypt. So Egypt is not a part of the first statement, so the first statement is not correct. Then Jordan River is the main source of Lake Tiberias, let us see. Now here only I will show you with the help of, I think, yes, this map only, Sea of Galilee is also known as Lake Tiberias. And this is the Jordan River, which forms the source of both Sea of Galilee and Dead Sea. Okay, so you see that second statement is correct, but first statement is not correct. The correct answer would be option B, that is two only. Moving on to the next set of questions. Now, Uzbekistan has announced a month-long state of emergency in an autonomous republic where rare protests have forced President 
of uh, Uzbekistan into a reversal on certain constitution reforms. With this particular news, we have formulated an application-based question, which goes like that one draws a straight vertical line, okay, from northernmost point of Kazakhstan to part of Indian Ocean, which is west of Maldives. The line is drawn in such a manner that Kazakhstan is divided into almost equal halves from which of the following pairs of countries the drawn line will not pass through okay so for these kind of questions you have to have in mind the uh, exact not exact but a tentative longitude of certain regions okay southern so for these kind of questions just know that if i draw a straight line from kazakhstan dividing it into two equal halves and it goes through indian ocean region to the west of Maldives over here okay so from which the countries uh, which of the following countries the pairs of countries the line will definitely not pass through first of course it is passing through Uzbekistan and here comes Tajikistan okay and then Afghanistan and Pakistan and even a short span of short span of territory of India the line will pass through only two countries are there from which the line is not passing through that is Turkmenistan and Kyrgyzstan okay so Turkmenistan and Kyrgyzstan are going to be our correct answers over here okay Turkmenistan and Kyrgyzstan that is option B all right let's move on and talk about our next set of question now we have to consider the following pairs the typhoon or the hurricane where it is it has formed the countries Chaba China air in Japan and of course Bonnie in Australia you see this is a map that is showing us the major tracks and frequency of hurricanes and typhoons and you see that Boni is actually forming in the Mexico region over here not Australia Boni is forming over the Mexico region then we talk about Chaba Chaba is forming in of course the country of China and here only we have the Japanese storm, uh, Japanese typhoon or hurricane, the air, A E R E. Okay, so apart from Boni, you see Boni is not correctly matched. If we have to choose the options which are correctly matched, only first and second are correct, that is option C. All right, let's move on to talk about our next questions. Which of the following country's capital lies closest to the Tropic of Cancer? So you have to know about the latitude of such countries. First, we have Saudi Arabia, Oman, Bahrain, and UAE. Let us look at our map. This is the Tropic of Cancer, right? Passing through over here. And Riyadh is there. Then we also have Muscat, Abu Dhabi, uh, Manama of Bahrain, and what was there? Saudi Arabia, we have done Riyadh, Oman, Muscat, Bahrain's Manama, and UAE's Abu Dhabi all are very close to the tropic of cancer right but the closest is muscat that is almost lying on the same latitude almost so the correct answer would be oman okay so you should know such questions these kind of questions could come moving on to the next set of question okay so a united nations appointed mission to libya has said that there are probable mass graves yet to be investigated and the head of tunisia's constitution committee has condemned the proposed constitution put forward by President Kai Saeed this week, the local Asaba newspaper has reported that. In light of that, we have to arrange the following countries from west to east. Algeria, uh, that are bordering the Mediterranean Sea. Okay, that I missed, sorry. Algeria, Morocco, Libya, Tunisia, Egypt. This is our, these are our options. Let us look at our map and we will see that the westernmost will be, of course, Morocco. Okay, then comes Algeria and this is Tunisia this is the Mediterranean Sea then comes Libya and then comes Egypt so Morocco first then Algeria and then Tunisia that is four then Libya and then Egypt two one four three five two one four three five this is our correct answer moving on to the next question the next question pertains to Australia and India recently have signed a partnership agreement to strengthen their cooperation in developing critical projects, mineral projects and supply chain. Okay, critical metal project. So, this question is pertaining to that only. Pilangangura and green bushes, they refer to which of the following? A species of snail, lithium deposit, invasive weed or new bacterium. Let us have a look at the map. 
Now here you can see we are talking about lithium deposits and Pilangungura and Greenbush. These are among the certain important regions of lithium deposit. Okay, so these kind of questions are definitely might be might be going into your paper. So be careful. Option B here is the correct answer. Okay, moving on to the next set. The next set is with respect to Aluri Sitaram Raju. The legendary freedom fighter is remembered for his fight against the Britishers in order to safeguard the interest of the tribal communities in the Eastern Ghats region. From that, we have formulated the question, from south to north, arrange the following peaks of Eastern Ghat, from bottom to the top. First, we have Nallamalla, then we have Shivaroy, then Varshunath, and then Sechachalam Hills. Let us see. Now, this is a small map showing us the important ranges of Eastern Ghat. First is, of course, from the given options, Varshunath, Varshunath, you can say. Then we have, I guess, Shivaroy Hills, okay. Then here we have Sechachalam Hills and then, of course, the Nallamalla, okay. So first, Varshunath, then we have Shivaroy, Sechachalam and Nallamalla. That gives us the option 3, 2, uh, 4 and 1. That is the first option itself, alright. So these are the kind of questions we have to be very careful about. Moving on, a tiger was released in Uttar Pradesh's Dudhwa Tiger Reserve on Tuesday after experts concluded it posed no threat to humans. So from that, Tiger Reserve we have to match with the river. Now these rivers could be the parent river or I have taken the parent river basically and the tributaries of such river are uh, near of these particular Tiger Reserve. Valmiki Tiger Reserve, Gandak, Kaval Tiger Reserve, Indravati, Kamlang Tiger Reserve, Lohit and Navegao Nagzira Tiger Reserve, Vaiganga. So we have to see how many pairs are correctly matched, okay? So this is a map that is showing us the tiger reserves which are actually lying close to the rivers, okay? So first we of course had, I guess, which one? Valmiki Tiger Reserve over here. Here is Valmiki Tiger Reserve, okay? And the Valmiki River basically uh, flows through it. And it is the Gandak River over here is forming the western boundary of the Valmiki Tiger Reserve. So first pair is correct. Then we have Kaval Tiger Reserve. Let us see where is Kaval Tiger Reserve. Here Kaval Tiger Reserve is there and Godavari Reserve is the southern boundary of Kaval Tiger Reserve. So second pair is also correctly matched. Sorry, I think it was Godavari, right? Yes, Godavari. Here it is written Indravati. No, it's Godavari. Okay. Kamlang Tiger Reserve, second is not correctly matched. Kamlang Tiger Reserve is over here. This, which uh, through which you can see the northern boundary is formed by Lohit River. So this is also correct. Basically, it's named after the Kamlang River only, which is a tributary of Lohit. Okay. So first is correct, third is correct. Then we have Navegao Nagzira Tiger Reserve. Where is it? Navegao Nagzira Tiger Reserve over here and Vaiganga is forming the, this is the Navegao Nagzira and Vaiganga is the western boundary of the particular Tiger Reserve. So, only first, third and fourth are correctly matched. So, only three pairs are correctly matched. This is going to be our answer. Okay. Moving on to the next question. Arrange the following hill or mountain passes from north to south. That is from top to bottom. Palakkadya, Thalghat, Kumbadli Ghat Pass and Chodla Ghat. Basically, these are peninsular passes, you see. So, first we, you can see from, we had to sort from top to bottom, north to south, right? So, Goram, Haldi Ghati, Asirgar are over here. We have Thal Ghat over here, which is also known as Kasara Ghat Pass, okay? Then we have Kumbadli, then we have Chodla and then Parakkad Gap or Palghat, okay? So, first, of course, Thal Ghat will be there, then Kumbadli, two, three, then we have Chodla and then we have Palakkad. That is 2, 3, 4, 1. So 2, 3, 4, 1 is option A. Okay. Moving on to the next set of questions. So we have to consider the following statements. This is because of the tectonic or you can see uh, 22 earthquakes, seismic activities took place in just 24 hours as of 6th of July 2022. So keeping that in mind, we have this question. The Anman Islands 
Nicobar Islands and Northwest Sumatra. These are located on the Burma Plate, which is of course a tectonic plate. And Semang Ko Fault accommodates the convergence between Indo-Australian and Eurasian plates. Okay, so let us see our answer. If we see the seismicity of the country, the regions which are following in zone uh, falling in zone five, these zones have the highest seismicity. That includes, of course, almost the north, all of the northeastern India parts of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal, Uttarakhand, Gujarat as well, and Andaman and Nicobar are a part of the zone five seismic zone. And this is also a map to show you. But moving on, if we talk about the answer with respect to Burma Plate, then yes, Andaman and Nicobar Island are a part of the Burma Plate over here, and of course the northwest region of Sumatra as well. So the first statement is correct. Also, whatever tectonic activity is being taken, it is because of the tectonic activity in the Andaman Sea itself. And first is correct. Second is this is the Semangko Fault or the Great Sumatran Fault, which encompasses actually the whole of uh, Sumatra. So yes, it has the con convergence of the Australian Plate and the Eurasian Plate. And very importantly, Sunda Plate is also lying over here. The Sunda sub subduction system is responsible for seismicity in the Sunda Strait and of course Indonesia. So this is of course making us to think that both the statements are correct. The correct answer will be option C, both 1 and 2, right? Moving on, I have, I will give you two questions for today, practice. First is the UPSC prelims question of 2012 and then the ne next practice question. A particular state in India has the following characteristics. It is located on the same latitude which passes through northern Rajasthan. It has over 80% of its area under forest cover and 12% of the forest cover constitutes protected area network in the state. So we have to choose the state. As you see, this particular map, 2012 is um, very, you know, a decade away. And you see, decade ago. And we have to look at certain points that latitude passes through northern Gujarat. Not central, not southern, but northern Gujarat. So this is one of our hints. You have to answer it correctly through that only. Now the practice question you see, arrange the following wetlands of India from west to east. Bhoj wetland, Lonar Lake, Malsarovar Bird Sanctuary, Kavartal, Rudra Sagar Lake. Answer this correctly, okay? So that's it. Next time we shall meet again. Thank you so much for watching.